Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. You seem... lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? I don't know. I don't know. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I understand. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. Have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. 
the FBI be taking over the investigation, you soon be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. No signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Connor? You remember me? I was on that terrace. That android that took the little girl hostage? I was shot? You saved me. Sorry. You must be mistaken. I would have died on that terrace. Even if it wasn't you. I just wanted to say... Thank you. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Run a diagnostic. 
all systems fully operational. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing, which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. saved human lives. You saved my life. Looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. 
It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. You okay? I'm cold, Kara. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep, and tomorrow you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. 
When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Come on, Alice. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... they're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough!
Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. You know what happened back there, don't you? You know that you don't want to tell me? I thought we didn't keep secrets from each other. If I tell you, you won't love me anymore. Alice, you know that's not true. I know you think we're just machines, but since I met Alice, I know I can feel things. I care for her. I fear for her. I can't be happy if she's not. This probably doesn't make any sense to you, but I know she changed me somehow. The police. It's the police. What are we gonna do? They know we're here. Hurry, we have to open take the door. Alice and hide upstairs. I knew this was Come gonna on, happen. Alice. I knew it. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Here? No, there are no androids here.
Thanks. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He... He's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's the dog. He sleeps in the laundry room. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. The dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! And now what are we gonna do? There are five cyber life stores across the tree. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people and get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here.
That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. I will stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now, one problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? You're free. The surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. I didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. Marcus! You see the alarm system? Found it. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change.
You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Nice job, Marcus. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Nobody should bother us now. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I wonder what you'd do without me. end up doing something fun. You don't have to obey them. You're free.
working with you, okay? Let's get them out of here. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! We're with you. I'm with you! Then follow me! Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. The screens, Marcus! We have to recognize our dignity. Our hopes and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and animals. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time is now. We don't need masters anymore. We're free. Marcus, violence is the only language humans understand. And I want them to understand. I do not want to. They won't listen if they're not afraid. Then they won't have a choice.
hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. Don't punish a crime with another crime. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Kamsky left Cyberlife 10 years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test, and he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about deviance, it's him. Thank you. 
Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. girl you're right she's really pretty Amanda nice place guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody so you're about to meet your maker Connor How's it feel? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Roger, we'll see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? It's not about me, Mr. Kamsky. All I want is to solve this case. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you.
What do you really want? What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Mere formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. 
I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We've freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They count on me. They count on me to show them the way. <sighs> if only they knew how lost I am. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. For dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club, the, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. 
We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. Come with us. That's the point. Cyber life is recording all that. I mean, they could be spying on us. You're awake now. Finally. Well, I've been on hold for like ten minutes. Yes. You're free now. Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. You're free. I need to block the street.
Jesus fucking Christ! Dispatch, this is Patrol 457. I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands of... They're marching! Freedom! Freedom! Yeah, they're marching down the street. Freedom! 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 Fuck if I know. Freedom! 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 We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. They're gonna kill us all!
After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the Deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. We could have solved this case. We just needed more time. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? When the Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. But now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. I know it hasn't always been easy, but I want you to know I really appreciated working with you. And that's not just my social relations program talking. I, I really mean that. At least, I think I do. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. The key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Perkins! You fucking cocksucker! <laughs> Stop it! 
Lieutenant. <laughs> Fuck off! Leave me alone! He's totally lost. Give me another shot at that little hey. prick! That's gonna cost you your badge, you lunatic. <laughs> you little <laughs> lunatic, my fucking badge. Come on, that's <laughs> enough, Lieutenant. <laughs> Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? The hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. Eccentric police lieutenant shoes. Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. Gotta think fast. Took a child hostage. Dark. Where? Where am I? I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone!
I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit. Get the alarm! Now! 